my name's Vince from my mate Vince and in this video today we're looking at something that I think is going to be really interesting on the inside. So calculators, we take them for granted nowadays don't we? Because they're everywhere. You can ask your Google or Alexa, you can check it on your phone. You can pick them up for next to nothing and they work perfectly well. But what did we do in the days before the electronic calculator? Well, we could work it out with a pen and paper using our amazing math skills. Might not be the best for a lot of people. Or we could use one of these. A mechanical calculator. Yes! Oh. Look at the weight of that! Well, you can't look at it, can you? But I'm telling you, it's heavy. There we have it. The mechanical calculator. No batteries in this thing at all. How on earth does this even begin to work? This one's not working, it was bought faulty off eBay. I'll show you the listing in a minute. Do I think I'm gonna fix this? N no, I think I'm gonna take it apart and everything's gonna spring out at me. If I think a watch is complicated on the inside, I can't begin to imagine how complicated this is gonna be. But I think it's gonna be interesting to see the inside of it, regardless of whether or not we fix it. So, uh, Let's get it over to the blue mat. I'll show you the listing and uh, let's get into it and see if we can get this to work in any way at all. Right, here it is, five pound plus 15 pound postage. Now it was a uh, auction and I won this for next to nothing. I can't even remember. I think it was just a few pounds. And I think the postage was something like six pounds. Now the, uh, the seller then refunded me as soon as I paid and basically said that eBay had got the postage wrong and that it wasn't gonna cover it. And to be fair, it wasn't gonna cover it. I don't think the seller was holding out thinking that he was gonna make his millions from this device here. It's just that he would have lost money. So then I said, well, look, you know, work out how much it's gonna cost. I want it for a video. I'll, uh, I'll buy it, whatever the postage is. And he come back with a fair enough price. It was five pound for the item and 15 pound for the postage. And the postage would be I can't, it's, it's so deceiving how heavy this thing is. It's seriously heavy. So I think it's a f I think it's a fair enough price. Let me uh, just show you the description. Right here it is. Here it's a facet analog calculator, mechanical calculator C1-13 not working. It says here 1965. I would have thought that this was a lot older than that it looks it looks in my opinion a lot older than that but i presume it's probably just using a design from maybe 20 or 30 years before that they probably just keep churning out the same thing with very little change to it it says here missing a number please check photos doesn't seem to work but i'm no expert it will make a lovely project for someone uh that's about it really it's just saying it's not working now when i've messed around with it here i can't get it it just seems locked up you know for example like when a some, when, when a mechanical toy is overwound, it just seems to be, I mean, I don't want to force anything, but that's not moving, that's not moving. None of these are moving down. It's missing a digit here, but that's not, you know, they're not moving down. And that thing there is, okay, well that's doing something. But I don't want to force anything. Let's uh, take it apart. We might just see like, do you remember the, typewriters used to get and when you hit the the key down the it would punch down onto the paper and if you hit too many keys at once they would kind of get mangled up together and then you'd have to free them one by one i think maybe it's something similar to that but look i haven't got a clue because i've never worked on one of these before i've never used one i've obviously never taken one apart and i've never watched a tear down video on one does a tear down video exist on them i would highly doubt it Looks like something's missing. Looks like one of the feet things is missing there. Uh, right, okay, so how are we gonna even take this apart to begin with? It looks like this outer case comes away from this. So maybe I don't need to undo these screws. Maybe I just need to start by undoing these things here. And then it might all come apart because look, this is gonna be separate to that. And it's all made out of metal as well. That doesn't appear to, there's, there's no giving that though. Doesn't appear to be any given that. I wonder, do I have to undo these to loosen up here? I'm in trouble. These are seized. That's not. It's quite rusty there. Let's see if that loosens up that corner. I think it might do. Oh, 
Yes. No, I think I'm going to have to get some WD-40 on them. Let me try to tighten it a little bit. Nah. Don't want to put too much on because it would just stink out everything and get everywhere. Also, it doesn't look like there's any register here. Look. Can you see here? I hope I haven't got a load of dials missing because I've got dials here and here. They don't seem to have anything in this one here. It just seems to be empty. Quite nice that no matter what, we're not going to be needing the, uh, the multimeter on this particular fix. Do you know what? I wonder if I was to get a hammer and tap it down, that might break up the rust a bit. It's not coming undone. Let me try to put this through here, use that as more leverage. Oh, look at that. Leverage is the answer. How easy was that? See if the same thing is going to work here. Yeah, just shows you that the uh, see when you're using a screwdriver, there's not a huge amount of. You don't get a huge amount of strength in there, do you? I mean, if this handle was much bigger, you'd have more chance of uh, being able to turn it. But that, with that there, just that little bit there, makes so much difference compared to me trying to turn it there. It's amazing, isn't it? Right, that's them undone. Now, is this now gonna be loose? I know we have to undo these at the side, but is it gonna move up a little bit? No, it's not. Do I have to undo everything? I just wary if I undo these, the whole inside's going to fall out. Let's see what happens. Imagine if I open it up and it's just a load of gears everywhere. Well, nothing dropped, which is good. Okay, let's undo this one here. Good news is it's keyed. So again, I can't put it on wrong. It's either gonna be up there or down here. Yeah, that's keyed as well. Now, are you gonna come out now? Nope. How do you come apart? I didn't think I'd be struggling this much. Just to get into it, I'm not gonna struggle on the inside, obviously, but what is going on? Oh, hold on. No, there's no, no. That's going to be, 
that's part of that, otherwise that wouldn't be separate. That has to stay on the inside. This has to lift up. Sure of it. I wonder if that's some weird little spring holding it in. Maybe that's some weird spring holding it in. There we go. Ah, that's a weird spring holding it in. So maybe there's one this side as well. Yes, there is. Can you see that little thing there? There we go. That's it. Now, what awaits on the inside? Here goes. Here goes. Da -da 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 -da. Right. It's got some lot of soundproofing in here. Hmm. Now, what oh what is going on? What is going on here? So that comes off as well. Do I need that to be off there, I wonder? Do you know what? I think this is uh, probably best to wear gloves on this one. My little Secura watch is still ticking away for itself. Now, uh, okay, so it needs a good clean. That's the bottom there. Oh, let's get rid of that. You can see that that needs a clean as well. But there's nothing, nothing broken in there, is there? Doesn't look to be any remains of gears or anything in there. Oh, it reminds me of a place I did my work experience in Turney Turbines. Look at the grease. Oh. Okay, now, <laughs> where do I begin? What on earth is going on here? It looks like some thing that would be in a 1960s film about time machine or something. Oh, is that a bell? Have we got a bell? What? What? Why would we have a bell? How do we get the bell to work? Is that when you've done the final calculation? This thing is full of surprises. Now, how is it even, does it, is it screw together? Yeah, it's screwed together, look. Well, I think we need to be very careful about just undoing screws because that's 100% gonna end in tears. Nice little wisher thing there. Okay, so we have a spring here. Massive spring here. It actually looks like it could do you damage. Have to be careful here actually, because you know, things like clocks, believe it or not, a clock can uh, do you serious harm or even kill you because of the amount of energy stored in the, uh, in the springs, the mainspring. And I don't know anything about these. So uh, obviously a tiny spring like that's not going to do anything, but there'd be a lot of power in that spring. I wouldn't want to, you know, that could probably damage an eye quite easily. Do you know what? I, I don't really don't know where to begin. Right, so we have little, so this is, it's said in the thing about a pin lever or something. So these are the pins that go round. And these must move the different digits. Can you see they're kind of spiraling down like that? So these are going to move the digits. Oh, we have got digits here. We have got digits here, but they're over this side, not that side. Hold on. Oh, look at that. Fancy. It's counting up or counting down. Uh, let's get these levers back on. So basically, this is it now, back together, isn't it? Apart from the case. Are these? Oh, here we go. That just moved, but now it's jammed down. Ah. Oh, they're coming up here. Let's 
Okay, they're, they're very slow to spring up. I think that's dirt. Ah! Oh, that was nice. Watch this. They reset themselves to zero by doing this one, and it kind of goes off in a spiral technique. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, the buttons are too sticky. See what I mean? They're, they're not springing back nicely. Right, we can't go any more. Watch this now. Watch how these reset when I do this one here. Look, 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 look. See them all going back to zero. There. Oh, that's nice. Well, hold on now. So it is doing something. I don't know how it works. I need to uh, read up about it. Right, so it's got jam now. Right, it's jams. I think it just needs a clean. Ah, here we go. Right, so what I did there is, look how slow that nine is coming back up. Yeah, so watch. And that's the problem, you go to hit down the next one when that one hasn't fully gone up yet. There. All I did there was I moved it over to there and you can see that it reset itself here and that then allowed me to uh, start all over again. Right, before I mess up this, how do I bring it back there though? Yeah, see now it's seized again, so why is it not resetting over there? Oh, it came up there. <gasps> 150, that's 75 times 2. So now it's going to be uh, 225. Oh my, my. 290? No, 300, sorry. <laughs> my maths wasn't lying on my hands. 375? Oh, that's nice. 525? Five, five. Wow, okay, hold on now. Reset there. How do I bring it back over there though? Maybe, maybe that's the fault, it's not bringing it back over. So if I was to do 50, and then go here, 50, 100, ah, amazing. Oh, whoa, 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 and that subtracts it. Oh, now that is a sight to behold. Right, let's do... So now I can't add anything onto that, so it only does the one, does it? Why is it not putting it back over to do the next operation? Because when this is back together, I won't be able to do that part there. So it resets it when it's there, but it's not putting it back. Depending on what you change here will, will alter the pins, which will then bring it up to here. And you have to do one revolution. If I was to go like halfway to there and then go back, it locks. I have to go all the way to here where it locks into place there and then I can go back one. And the same on the way back. If I go to there and then go back, it's locked. Yeah, okay. Right. So, ah, there we go. It worked that time. Okay, do you know what? I think this is working. I think it just needs one really good clean. I mean, you can see here, just look at that. The grease has just gotten everywhere. Yeah, so if you look here, I think the grease has gone old, dust has got in it, and now it's just causing it to, uh, causing it to become slow and seize up, because you can't actually use this because it will be too slow on the punching down here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a wet wipe to begin with, and I'm gonna give it all a clean, and then I'll look into greasing it up, uh, greasing it up afterwards.
So right, while I'm cleaning this, this is going to take a long, long time to do. But let's give a recognition and a shout out to the My Mate Vince Massive. And this month, the members of the Massive are kitdigital.com, Kip Hakes, Max Rokotansky, Having Fun Repairs, Ellensburg Amplifier Repair and Service, Will Michaelis, Chris Seal, Felipe at MrKeebs.com King Curd from Low Book Auto Sales DJVG and Tobias Hennig Thank you guys I think this is where I really need to concentrate down here, get rid of all this dust and on the inside as well so that these can spring back after they've done their job. I suppose the grease has kind of gone more like to uh, syrupy type glue which is just sticking everything up. Actually looking at it now, looking at how much dirt is on the chrome here, because this is lovely chrome, look at this. I'm wondering if this wasn't, I don't think this was in an accountant's office, because how would the grease get all the way out here? I'm wondering if this was in some kind of mechanics garage or something, because, uh, or engineering workshop, because it seems, why would the grease, I mean, would it travel all the way out to here and up? I think it's unlikely. This looks like whoever was using it had oil on their hands. Right, okay, so this is gonna take a long, 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 long time, because remember, I've got to do all the inside as well. So I'm not taking it apart, because it won't go back together. Uh, I'm just cleaning, basically, what I can see. And then if I can get these working nicely, then I'll be happy with that. Remember, this isn't like trying to service it, it's just trying to get it to, uh, trying to, get it to work, and I don't actually think there was a fault with this originally. I think this is all to do with just being gummed up. So uh, yeah, sit back, listen to maybe one or two songs, and hopefully then we will be done. Now this gives me good access in here to give it a real good clean where the keys go up and down. Yeah, you can see here now, look, when I go to go down here, look how slow it returns. So this spring isn't really working properly because everything's so gummed up that it's uh, it's not going back to where it should go. So either the spring needs to be stronger or all this needs to be cleaned so that it can move freely. So the grease has just become so gummed up, just like an old watch, it just needs a service to clean it. It doesn't mean any part's broken, it's just the oil gums up over the years. So. Uh, Hopefully we'll be able to get this so it's working nicely again. Oh, so that's loose there. And that's loose there. So it's not to do with this lever. It's to do with this here. This is the thing that's slow. Why?
The only pivot point is on this rod along here, going all the way along. So that must be where it's uh, where it's slow. Maybe that's why all of these ones are sticky here because this rail here has got uh, has all gummed up. Right, so this button works nice, but look at this one here. Can you see where it pivots on this thing here? It's not really working. This bit here, yeah, it's too slow. So it's like the middle of this has been completely gummed up on this rod here. I know the spring's not on it, but that's not. Uh, there's no way the spring's going to force that back up. It takes way too much strength. Well, look at that. They're already freeing up. These ones are here. Right, I'm not going to take it apart. I'm just going to keep cleaning. It's only nine, really, that's uh, stuck. Yeah, so the only ones that are not really working is this one and this one. Oh, the bell went off there. There you go, that there is a perfect example of how the oil goes hard over time. So I took off these little teethed rails down here and look at that there. You see there? Right, have a look at this. This reminds me a little bit of a lock barrel. So uh, if we go down to here, this is like a cylinder, and can you see all these pins? When I hit certain key, uh, certain uh, numbers here, different pins will stick up. Let me see if I can, there you go. Did you see that one come out there? Yeah, let's do a few more. There you go, and that one there. And I suppose what then happens is, that pin will then, when you turn it, will turn another set of uh, another set of gears or something, which will then, when you turn it here, those pins that I've just pushed out there, will then go onto here, depending on which pins stick out. Do you see what I mean? So you know, like if that pin's sticking out, and then when it turns, it might do a number one up here. If the second pin's sticking out, and then it turns, it will do a number two up here. It's a number two. <laughs> A number three or a number four up there, I think. Yeah, that's how it adds it up up there. Thinking about it, this hasn't moved yet, has it? So I think this is to reset here, and that's not working. Right, you can see now it's all starting to loosen up. Now 
Now I think I'm going to take each of these off. I'm going to take a picture of them, take each of them off, and then uh, that will allow me to give them a good clean in some boiling water and a toothbrush. Now when cleaning, it's imperative that you use a good quality mug. The My Mate Vince mug is perfect for this type of cleaning application. Right, I'm just gonna let those soak in there for a little while. And you know what, I think I am gonna put this stuff here. I'm gonna put that in the bath, I think. Look at that, look at the colour difference. So what you're watching is cleaning, cleaning and some more cleaning. So we're going to leave the cleaning there, even though there's lots more cleaning that was done off camera, I'm not going to put you through any more. So the next bit of the video you see me is working on the mechanism for the top right hand register, you know, the top right hand lever. When we push that down, nothing's resetting in that top right hand corner. So although it's counting up, it's not resetting itself. So that's not right. So let's pick up the video when I'm working on that bit there. Still don't know what that little red dot there does either. Don't know what that signifies. But no matter what position I have that in, it's not uh, it's not working anyway. I wonder if I take this off here, will it uncover what's going on? Hmm. That seems loose, is that just to cover up that spring? Or does this need to go all the way over? Ah, does this need to go into this collet thing here completely? Does that gear need to go all the way over into here to allow this all to spring back? There we go. Did you see that? That went past it there. Okay. It's not resetting though, it's still not resetting, why is that? It's not making the right sounds though, is it? It's not like crunching when it goes down. It doesn't make the same sounds as the other ones. Is it because this isn't, is this jammed here maybe? Right, it's gonna take quite a while, but I'm just gonna go across them, just to get this to count up some. Actually, it might be quicker to go that way. I'm wondering if some of the numbers over here are jams, which is stopping it from going back. Do you know what? I'm going to be here all day, aren't I? No, I can't do that. I'll be here forever. My joints would wear out before I get to there. I wonder, is this... Oh, here we go. Can I just turn this? Yeah, let me just free them up, because this all needs to reset anyway. I reckon this is just jams. So these are on springs here. Springs, springs, springs. Well, they can all move freely. So 
So these all have a bit of play and they can move up, yeah? You can see that they're moving up, but look, these are not moving up. Why are they not moving up? Let's have a look at the other side. Or maybe it was just because this thing here was rotated against it. Let's see if they move up now. No, these ones here are jammed. Mm, really stiff. There we go. Look at that. Come on, free up. Yeah, that's definitely getting freer. But they're not like these ones here. These ones are lovely. Oh, 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 did you see that? We've gone to zero. And here and now back. Still ridiculously stiff, but we will, we will get there. Yeah, it's really starting to do it now. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I can't tell you how nice this thing is. How are these so cheap? So now I want to wipe away the WD-40 from the actual digits and from the, uh, the rest of the area. nice I can clean them all by doing this by just controlling it on the lever look at that one by one ah so each little click does the whole thing one turn ah it's lovely right I think that that is fixed so what I am going to do now is just clean up the cover you don't need to see me doing that and uh, just carry on cleaning in here I don't think I'm actually going to grease it up because I haven't got the correct grease for it. And also, it's not really going to be getting any, any use, is it, in this day and age. This is just going to be to sort of show people what uh, what mechanical calculators were like. So it'd be different if you were doing this all day long, then it would wear out. But I just, this is never going to be really, it's never going to be used, is it? It's only going to be used as an example of how things were. So uh, yeah, right now I'm not going to grease things up. I have got the grease that I would need in my dad's shed, so I could always get that next time I'm there. But the uh, synthetic grease that I've got, I don't think would really be suitable for this one. So I'm just going to uh, just clean it and leave it at that. Ah, oh, so good. <laughs> I haven't done anything else apart from play with it, but look, I can get the bell to work. So watch this, 999, nine, nine. let's put some digits in here, and now hit this button. It all goes over here, now listen. There we go, Ooh. I don't know what it means, but that's nice. I wonder, is it a warning to signify you're at the end of something? Because look, this doesn't seem to be changing. It's just saying the same thing. Oh no, it's not saying the same thing. 
The first two are saying the same thing though. Maybe that signifies the end of some sort of travel or something like that. The end of uh, the end of the calculation because you can't go anymore. Like you've gone, you've exceeded it. Right, I found another problem. It's getting seized up every now and then. And this one here is not kind of, uh, look, can you see? Sometimes it's going halfway and then it gets seized up. It's just free wheeling round. It's not like these ones which click. These click, yeah? With this I can have it like halfway. And if you have a look, it's hard to see because there's a black spring on a back, a black kind of pusher, but there's a spring here. There's a spring on every one of them, but there's no spring here. Look, this one's just loose, yeah? There should be a spring, but I can see a spring down in here. So we've got to try to hook it up inside. Can you see the, uh, the springs here? Yeah, so we need to get the spring and it's all the way down here. I've got it. I've got it here. Now I've got to get that in here. Nope. Can't even see it now. I've got it. I've got it here. Right. Grab it, bring it round, this needs to come out. Yes, go on, in, 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 in. It's in, it's in, it is in. That's it. Brilliant. Can you see now it's clicking around like the others? Fantastic. So now it's not gonna, yeah, there you go, it's not gonna get seized up halfway. Right, now that I've done that, I'm going to put it back in its case and finish up the video. So here it is, all back together and cleaned up, and it looks much better than it did before, but it's still in bad condition because a lot of the paint has scraped off it, but it's certainly much cleaner and it's all working. So let me just punch in some random things and then I'll show you a few functions. So you can see there, when I do that, it goes up to here and also goes up to here. And if I was to go that way, it's then gonna go to 999 there. Now watch this, if I do this, resets nice if I do that that resets nice and that resets nice so it's all working fine if I do this you can see it's moving across and all the buttons are working fine you know beforehand I had trouble with that one but you can see now that it's going back fine and also the nine I had troubles with but now it's working fine so it is doing what it needs to do right now let me just show you the uh, simple kind of operation so let's say if we were to do one 100 times 10. Yeah, we know that's going to be a thousand. So I've put a hundred down here, and when I do one here, it hundred goes to here and it's one. So one times 100 equals 100. Now, if I was to put this nine more times round, it would go to 10 here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, oh, yeah, sorry, nine. That's right, nine. Yeah. Now, so 10 times 100 equals a thousand. I don't even know if that's coming out in the. There we go. Right, so uh, that's that there. Now, let's say if you wanted to take away 50 from that. So we're going to put 50 here and then we're going to wind it the wrong way. And it comes to 950 there. Now, if you wanted to reset it here and take another 50 away, because this is irrelevant here now, when I go back this way, it will go red here to indicate it's subtracting. So again, 50 away from this, the wrong way. Can you see the red comes up here now? And we've gone to 900. Another 50 away, we'll bring it to 850. So now let's clear that. And now let's add on 150 to that. 
and do that and we're now at a thousand so you can see how it's working there it is possible to do division but i haven't worked it out yet it's not that this isn't working it's that i don't know how to do it but basically it's something along the lines of you would do your number here and then you would hit this button to bring it over to here and then you would wind it up and then I think you uh, clear the bottom and then you divide it by your new number, bring that over and then I think you have to go backwards until the bell hits. There. And then I think you're supposed to move it along one to get the, the rest of it and go forward or something until the bell hits but I can't really understand it. But anyway, you heard the bell hit. Oh, there you go. Uh, it's so that's what the bell's for it's just that I don't I haven't worked that bit out yet but how nice is it look at it the way it works it's just beautiful so it's a shame if it was if it had more of the inside I mean it was a tool wasn't it it wasn't made to have a look at the inside it's just that the inside's stunning like uh, I've already taken my thumbnail picture and that inside mechanism is so 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 nice and in a way you're kind of spoiling it by having this boring drab outside on it uh, well, so we're missing, this should be a little pointer here coming down here and we're missing them up here as well. So there should be a couple of pointers there. And also obviously we're missing a button here, but everything is working. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And yeah, so you've got a nine digit display there. And if I was to do zero, you can see zero is working here. So it is just a, a fantastic item. It really is. Lovely. I didn't think it would be so interesting. I've, uh, I love the inside of it. I really, really do. So yeah, very, 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 very happy with it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly did. Until the next time, take care everyone. Ask if I